Remember back in late 2012 when I officially retired from making commentaries? The reason why I quit making commentaries back then is because I realized that the commentaries I made back then were very bad. Now I feel a very similar way. Except I don't think any of the commentaries I made this year are bad, but they are far from great. In fact, the only commentaries I made this year which I would consider great are the commentaries I made in June and that one commentary on Batman's blog on Chris Bros's most anticipated movies video. So yeah, I'm pretty much pulling the plug when it comes to my commentaries. I don't hate most of the commentaries I made. I just think that they are far from great, that's all. Now when I returned to making commentaries in June, things looked very fucking bright to me. There was a chance that I could have the potential of becoming a great commentator. But after June was over, my commentaries went downhill and they went downhill badly. Now I'm gonna quickly talk about the commentaries I have made and why I regret making them. First of that commentary on TOT Professor, yeah, I had almost nothing to say about the video. The only real argument I had was the fact that I thought he was going downhill. If I have very few real arguments about the video, I shouldn't be making the commentary. What I should have done instead was to just make a video talking about how I think TOT Professor Harris went downhill and have the video be about that only. And then there is that commentary on the logic of Mr. Hunter. I thought that I was acting something new about the mysterious Mr. Hunter. But the only new thing I brought to the table is something that you can easily find out just by watching his fucking videos. So I brought nothing new that's useful to the table. And then there is that pointless commentary on Junior for returns. There was wondering why people hated him back when he was relevant. But in reality, nobody really hated him. In fact, he was a beloved commentator, so that video was completely pointless. He was far from a hated commentator within the commentary community. And I also was beating a dead horse, which is a big no-no in commentaries, when I made a commentary on Iron Gamer's video on Lucky Charms. Why the hell did I comment it on that ancient video? That was completely pointless. I will admit, some of the jokes that I made in that video were new, but it doesn't change the fact that it was completely fucking pointless to comment it on that video. Yeah, those are pretty much the worst examples of commentaries I made in 2015. I would say what's wrong with my commentary on Jeremy Jones' review of Chappie. But I stirred by Karate and already did a good job of that already. I don't have to list the main problems with that video. Now, guys, I know many people enjoy my commentaries. And for those who enjoyed my commentaries, I do appreciate that. But the fact is, making commentaries just isn't something that I'm great at. Do I regret returning to making commentaries? No, nope, I don't regret it because to be honest I did have a lot of fun making these commentaries I did make. And don't worry, this won't be like in 2012 where I decided to quit making commentaries completely. I am not quitting making commentaries. What I am saying is that you will be seeing commentaries on my channel on rare occasions. How rare? Well, I will be making a commentary once a month at most. Now I'm gonna list some videos I planned on commentating on but will no longer be commentating on. During Halloween, I was gonna make a commentary on the angry video given the episode of Halloween. But the reason why I decided to cancel that is because I can't possibly make a commentary on that video without either making ignorant statements or stating the obvious. I also was going to make a commentary on the Hero of Tomorrow's review of the Jirashi movie, but that won't be happening anymore because he made such great points in his review. Even though I disagree with him since it's one of my favorite Pokemon movies, I do understand where he's coming from. 
Det är vad jag skulle kunna make a commentary on the nostalgia critics video Jingle all the way. So I enjoyed that video over the road. That would be pretty pointless. Besides, the nostalgia ticket has become a dead horse at this point. So yeah, there's one last thing that I'm gonna say before I end this video. It is okay that I suck at making commentaries. Everybody sucks at something. And for me, I'm just not very good at making commentaries. But at least I try to improve and I have improved in some ways. But yeah, don't expect commentaries to be made too often on this channel. Also, in case you forgot about the disclaimer in the beginning, when I say that I'm very rarely making commentaries, I am specifically talking about commentaries on other YouTube videos. Spoiler movie reviews, episode reviews, and let's play still count as commentaries, and I will still be making those. Oh, and I was a fucking fool for thinking I could ever be accepted in Boop. The only people who get accepted there are people who actually know how to make good commentaries. Well, guys, that's all I'm gonna say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.